Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and do a what's in my hospital bag slash what's in my diaper bag um, video. I love watching these. I'm 36 weeks now, so I've got everything packed, ready to go just in case. I am a first time mom, so chances are there's some stuff in here that um, may be excessive or unnecessary, but I just would rather be over prepared than under prepared. So um, yeah, if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the bag that I am taking for my stuff is this here. It is from Target, and they should still have it. I think most of them still have these um, in various colors and like prints and stuff. I thought it was really cute. It has a little tassel on it, and it's got a lot of room, and then it has a big strap to carry. So, inside... I have quite a few things. So the first thing that I have in there is actually this really cheap um, nightgown that I picked up from Walmart for like $10. Um, it's insanely comfortable and I wear it all the time at home. But something I learned that was kind of nice was that it totally works as a dress if I put a really cute brown belt around the waist. I've gotten so many compliments on it. If I ever like have to leave the house really quick, I will seriously just throw on the belt and shoes and do my makeup and I get compliments on this nightgown slash dress all the time. So um, it has four little buttons at the top that you can undo. So I thought this would be really nice at the hospital for nursing purposes and comfort. So I'm going to take that with me for sure. Then I also have this mint colored robe from Target. It's, I think it's 100% cotton and it's just really soft. It has that like bumpy texture, if you know what I mean. It's by the brand Jillian and O'Malley. That Target brand there. And this is one of my favorite colors and I thought this would just be nice to have there um, to kind of cover up when I need to. And I believe they still have these at Target for like $24.99. So the next things I am bringing are a pair of socks with the grips at the bottom. I've actually had these socks for a very long time, but I just didn't feel like going out to buy new ones because I don't wear these at home or anything. So. But I just heard these were good to have at the hospital for walking around and making sure you don't slip. So, um, don't know where these are from. I've had them forever, but I think they'll come in handy. The next thing I have is actually doubled. It is a Jillian and O'Malley from Target nursing bra. Um, and they just look like this. They're very simple, plain bras. I got a white one and then a black one. The black one has like a lace detail on it which is kind of nice. It's not so ugly. <laughs> um, but they're both mediums. I have a really small rib cage normally. Um, since I've been pregnant it's expanded quite a bit so I haven't been able to wear any of the same bras. And that's aside from my chest getting bigger too. But I am hoping that these will fit really well because judging by just how they look, they seem like they'll fit really well. And um, I'm hoping that my rib cage kind of goes back down once she's out. I'm not really sure how that works, but I really hope it does. Um, so that these will fit nicely around my boobs, but um, not too tight around my, uh, my rib cage. So yeah, and those came together. I think they were like $22 from Target. And let's see, the next thing I'm going to take is actually something that I might just wear to the hospital when I go so I don't forget them. But they are just these old flip-flops that I have. They're, they're the brand Reef. Um, I've had them for quite a while and they're just like rubbery flip-flops. Um, because I read that you may want these for the shower 
which makes sense because I think showers that a bunch of people have used are kind of gross. I'm the same way at hotels and everything, so I figured at a hospital that's a really great idea because I really don't want to put my bare feet on a nasty shower floor that's been exposed to who knows what. So then the, the next thing for my personal bag is another bag. Um, this has all of my toiletries and um, all that good stuff in there. So it's just kind of crammed with stuff. I threw a bunch of overnight maxi pads in there because I heard those will come in handy. I do know the hospital provides um, that sort of stuff for you, but I just figured better safe than sorry in case I need one of those for some reason. And then I grabbed a handful of breast pads. These are just the, um, what brand are these? Lanzano brand. Got those from Target. And then I also am bringing these Tux medicated cooling pads. Um, these have, these are for, it says they're hemorrhoidal pads with witch hazel and they are biodegradable when flushed. Um, it comes in a hundred pads. I think I got these at Target as well. Um, it has 50% witch hazel in it, and it temporarily relieves the local itching and discomfort associated with hemorrhoids. It aids in protecting irritated anorectal areas, and temporarily relieves irritation and burning. So I've heard that these are really good for after birth because they will... Um, kind of ease the pain and the irritation just in general down there. So I have those. And let's see, what else did I bring? Just a kind of junky little hairbrush. I didn't want to bring my nice ones because I use those every day. And I'd rather just um, not have to take stuff out of my bathroom to other places. So I just took like the crappiest brush I have. Um, and then I just brought some hair ties and bobby pins. Elsa. She wants to steal these pads. No. Um, and then I bought, I've just grabbed a bar of the Dial antibacterial soap. I'm sure the hospital will have something antibacterial to wash with, but just in case, I thought I'd bring that. And then a travel size Garnier Fructis um, shampoo and conditioner. Just wanted to take those with me to get my hair nice and clean. I like to feel clean. It helps me kind of relax and feel better. So I'm sure I'll be taking a shower at the hospital. And then these are just smaller sizes of what I actually use on my skin every day. Oh, excuse me. It is the Cetaphil um, Skin Cleanser and Moisturizing Lotion. And these are just travel size versions of those. So I'm going to take those with me, and then I just grabbed a cheap little toothbrush to take. Um, let's see, some body lotion, Aveeno, in case my skin needs a little moisturizing. And then I just kind of had an extra deodorant in my medicine cabinet, so I'm just going to take this one with me. It's the Secret Scent Expressions Coconut Splash. Let's see, what else do I have here? more pads. Um, oh, and then I have this Boob Ease Organic Nipple Balm, um, just in case things get a little painful and cracked. So, and then just some Sensodyne Travel Size Toothpaste, um, Q-tips just for anything, I don't know what. And last but not least in this bag is um, nipple shields. I don't know that I will need these, but I was talking to my mom. They just look like this. Um, they're really, really, really thin and like bendy. They kind of feel cool, but I was talking to my mom and she said that those may be something I should look into because I have... Um, Basically, this is kind of TMI, but I have more like flat ones. So to help the baby latch on better, 
sometimes these can help moms um, because they provide more of a point um, for the baby to latch onto. So I'm just going to bring those in case. I don't know if I need them or if I do, the hospital might provide something like that, but just in case I thought I would take them. So that is all for my toiletries. I'm still debating whether or not I even want to bring makeup. I'm not sure, but as of now, I don't have makeup in my bag just because I feel like I honestly feel better with nothing on my face, just other than moisturizer. So if I can, so I, I just feel like I'll want to feel clean and not have anything on me. But who knows, I might end up adding like a little something or another. I think the only thing that I will need to put in there is like granny panties, um, but yeah, just because I don't want to wear anything too nice for obvious reasons. Um, so that is it for my hospital bag um, of my stuff. I will have one, a small one for my husband's stuff, just a change of clothes. Um, he's going to share pretty much most of the toiletries with me other than a toothbrush and deodorant. Um, so yeah, just a change of clothes for him and some chargers and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we can move on to the diaper bag. So this is the bag that will be used as a diaper bag for me. Um, I am not a big fan of most diaper bags. I just kind of feel like they, I don't know, they just don't really strike my fancy. So I wanted to get a nice purse that could hold a lot of stuff, more of a tote. And this is a Kate Spade bag. I'm not really sure what the model is, but it's just a cream leather tote. And it has some compartments on the inside and lots of room. So I'll go ahead and get started and show you what I have in here. So I have two different blankets. This one is more of a like thin swaddle blanket. It's just a plain pink that my mom got me. It came in a set with like a handful of other ones. So I have those. And then um, I have a little bit of a heavier blanket. And this is just a really, really cute pink and white blanket. I don't know if you can see the, there we go. And it has a little teddy bear in the corner. So this is just um, more of a layered blanket for her to use. And I think it's so cute and it's really, really soft. I'm not sure where this is from. I got it for um, Christmas for her. Um, then I just grabbed just one burp cloth. I got this at Babies R Us and it just has little pink owls all over it. Super cute. Um, I think the hospital will probably provide something like that, but I wasn't sure. So I grabbed one in case. Let's see. And then for feeding purposes, again, I'm not sure if I'll need these, but I just got a couple of bibs. This one says, my heart belongs to daddy and it is from Carter's. It says it's for six months, but I don't really understand why it has to be a certain age. It looks fine. And then this one is just a Circo. I think that's Target. Just a pink and white polka dot bib. And let's see here. Um, this came with the... I put an organizer in this tote, and it came with a changing pad. So this is just a gray travel changing pad for the baby if I need to use it and that was just already in here and okay so I'll keep going with like supplies so I just have some diaper rash cream diaper ointment the A&D brand I got this at my baby shower um so yeah I just thought I'd bring that again I'm sure the hospital has it but it can never be too safe then I just grabbed two little diapers, newborn size, um, in case I need them. And just a travel size pack of Pampers Sensitive Wipes. 
Um, I've heard really good things about these wipes, so that's what I've been buying. Let's see. Okay, so now we're pretty much, oh. Then I just grabbed two little pacifiers. Um, I don't know, this one is, I don't know what brand this is, but but it just has a little purple kitty cat on it. And then these are the ones you've probably all seen, and I think the hospital provides these too. But they are the Super Smoothie by Advent, I think. Event, Advent. So I'm just bringing two of those in case, not sure if I'll need them. And then I'm bringing a nail clipper in case I need that, in case her nails are really long when, they, when she comes out. I can hopefully just clip them down a little bit so she doesn't scratch her face. And, okay, so now we can get into clothes. So this is what I'm going to have her wear home. Actually, no, not home, but I am going to have her wear this for some pictures. If I can find... So it is a newborn gown, and it just has a really sweet little tulle rose in the middle and ruffles on the bottom, and then it has these little sleeves that can fold over to cover her hands up. And I know these are a lifesaver for newborns, so I'm going to put this on her and get some really sweet pictures of her. And it's very soft. The brand is Starting Out Treasures, and I received this as a gift. And then it also comes with a little beanie with a bow that matches it. I got this onesie at Old Navy, and it says loved on it. So cute and so tiny. And then these cream-colored little baby shorts. I couldn't believe how cute they were and they look really cute with the onesie color and then I'm going to put this little cream colored bow on her for when she goes home so I'm excited for that and then I just grabbed just a couple of extra onesies this is a tiny little newborn one um, with long sleeves and just a little Heart print one that I got in a set from Target. Let's see what else is there. Okay. And then last but not least for her, I grabbed some socks. These are from Carter's and I just have some white ones. They're just regular little socks with a little bow on them. And then I also threw in a pair of pink socks for her. And then I got a set of mittens and I thought I'd just bring one one pair of them these are just little tiny ones from Target and they have little tiny little bears on them to keep her hands from scratching her face and then actually while I'm here I'll just show you guys the um, divider that I got this was from Amazon I can't remember the brand but I will link it um, but it's just like a square sewn divider that can go into your tote and it has a bunch of compartments that you can throw stuff in which is what I did so that is everything that is in my hospital bag and my diaper bag um, like I said first time mom here probably threw in a bunch of stuff that I don't need but again I'd rather be safe than sorry so um, give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next one, hopefully with a nursery tour, which I'm really excited to do. Um, so yeah, hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.